Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Thunder Toe. And a lot of you are probably aware of my cousin, Thunderfoot, for his scientific videos here on YouTube. Now, my cousin recently put out a video where he criticizes both Anita Sarkeesian and Jordan Peterson for taking money from their followers that he really digs, thinks they don't need. Cool. So I'm sitting there and someone sends me this from Anita Sarkeesian. Yeah, that Anita Sarkeesian. Apparently, she wants $35,000 within a month. And if she gets $25,000, she'll set up a Discord server. Now, that was kind of interesting to me, because the way I always understood it is that Discord was free. I, I just sit here in disbelief as what all these uh, political activists actually need the money for. I mean, take, for instance, Jorgen Peterson, who pulls in somewhere in the order of a million dollars a year through Patreon. And that's just his Patreon. The guy still has a professorship at Toronto University, which means his Patreon alone is pulling in about 10 times what I get in total for everything. And what does he deliver for it? What does, what does he need that money for? And even though he claims the Anita Sarkeesian and Jordan Peterson money is undeserved, wants to say that the money he receives from his followers is needed for laboratory supplies. And I consider myself well-funded almost beyond belief. Well-funded enough that I've managed to almost fully set up a lab. But no, don't get me wrong. I've got no complaints, even though I may not be pulling in, fighting for feminism or fighting against feminism or hell, fighting for God type money. I do very well out of this, especially seeing as I never went into it to make money in the first place. And if you'd have told me back then that within 10 years, I would have one year where I would spend that much money alone buying scientific equipment, I would have just laughed at you. And so would everyone else. Because back then, it was called e-begging. And it was a sign that you're a worthless sellout, worthy of scorn of everyone who didn't actually make money out of YouTube. But the bottom line is, I now have access to research-grade equipment. All thanks to YouTube. And I couldn't have done it without your support. Because YouTube's kind of flaky when it comes to the ad revenue. And then our friend... Thunderfoot went on to Twitter and continued to spurge about Jordan Peterson. What I think is now Thunderfoot's main objection seems to be that when he complained about Anita Sarkeesian or the televangelists taking donations, everyone was silent. But when he complained about Jordan Peterson taking donations, everyone seemed to jump in and complain. And then a YouTuber by the name of Mike Barbarossa responded to the tweet, reminding Thunderfoot that he may be sounding a bit of a hypocrite since he himself takes over $3,000 per video when you include ad revenue. Thunderfoot then responded to Mike Barbarossa's tweet by explaining how he's distinguished enough to be published in academic journals. Now, I want to say that I've heard language like this before, but I'd rather not say from where. And let's just say that most of the responses to Thunderfoot's tweets just didn't go his way. And then Mike Barbarossa responded back saying, I think many YouTubers are helping and accomplishing in their own way. In my mega YouTube channel, even I've done a bit of good, and that puts us back to our original point. Are you against a meritocracy 
where those who perform better and inspire more are rewarded more. And I believe this is the point that Thunderfoot is missing. Any time you're dealing with money in the private sector, everything is driven by a capitalist meritocracy, where those who are able to produce more or inspire more people get the greater reward. And I'll give you a great example of this. Imagine two country music singers, both who work very hard at their craft, both who are about to sing their hearts out in a two-hour performance. One of them will sing at a bar in front of about 50 patrons, the other at a colossal stadium in front of 30,000 ticket holders. Now the reason Reba McIntyre is going to make over a hundred times more money than the bar performer is due to the fact that she was able to inspire many more people to buy tickets to her performance. This is exactly what Jordan Peterson has done. He has inspired more people to support him on Patreon. The Patreon supporters are same as the ticket holders. And if you look back on Thunderfoot's complaint, his argument is that he deserves the money because he has these needs. But the bottom line is I now have access to research grade equipment all thanks to YouTube, and I couldn't have done it without your support. And that Jordan Peterson shouldn't be getting so much money and get so rich because he doesn't have the need. And disbelief is what all these uh, political activists actually need the money for. I mean, take for instance, Jordan Peterson, who pulls in somewhere in the order of a million dollars a year through Patreon. Now, an economic system which rewards people based upon their needs, while at the same time making sure that no one gets very rich and lives above their needs, well, this system has been tried before, and it's quite, it's been quite unsuccessful, I'd say. All the same, I'm proud of what I've managed to do with your support. Indeed, I'm not actually sure what I would do with any more of it. Well, even though Thunderfoot claims that he doesn't know what he would do with any more donations, well, anyone could go to his Patreon account and donate a thousand dollars per video, and I'm sure he would find a way to spend that money. Anyway, this has all been good. This is Thundertoe signing off. This dope-filled world. Right. Get in an air. Get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. Right. Get in a long. Get in a long tube with a bunch of demons. Right.